I know this video is coming at a strange time for one because I'm on my break. I'm on my break from YouTube. This is actually the first break I've taken from YouTube, maybe ever actually, since I started at least. So this is a very foreign feeling to me and this is all gonna tie together. I know it seems like I'm rambling, but me taking this break helped me realize a lot of things about myself, which I'm going to get to in a little bit. But first I wanna give you guys a quick update as to how my break is going. So if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't been responding to comments or anything like that. If you wanna reach me, you can still reach me through emails or through Wizio. All of that's in the description of this video and all of my other videos. But right now I'm just completely detaching from everything. I mean, absolutely everything. And this break is really helping me get my priorities in check because I feel like in the last few months, especially, I've really lost myself in external pleasures, in things that I wanted, desires. And just trying to maintain certain situations that even though from the outside looking in or from the surface level looked good on paper, but didn't really serve me and my personal growth at this chapter in my life. Now, another reason why this video is coming at a strange time is because I think I just dropped a video maybe a few weeks ago talking about how I met my now ex-girlfriend. Man, that's gonna take that's gonna take some getting used to say. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not used to saying X. Never had an X before. That's strange. It took me a while to get used to saying girlfriend. So I know I'll get used to it. But anyways, I'm not editing this video. I'm not editing this video at all. So if I mess up, it is what it is. Like I said, I'm on my break right now. <laughs> I'm on my break. I'm not even supposed to be filming this, but yeah, man. Uh I know that this is probably coming as a big surprise for a lot of you. You, got, you guys had no way of knowing that this was going to happen because you only really know what I show you. Like you don't really have, even though you know a lot about me, if you watch my videos, you don't necessarily know what's going through my mind at any given time. This is something that's been on my mind for a while. So I'm gonna just be as transparent as possible. I had this whole entire speech that I wanted to give when I was actually doing what needed to be done. And mind you, this literally just happened. It's two o'clock in the morning, August 5th. This happened at like 10 o'clock last night. So just a few hours ago. So this is still really fresh in my mind. That's why I need to make the video right now because I just need to gather my thoughts. I feel like I, to be as blunt as possible, I feel like I have started to lose myself in not only the relationship that I was in, but also the grind with YouTube. Now, all of this can really be traced back to May, May of this year. May was, if you've been following my channel since then, May was like the major turning point for me. That That's when my career really went to that next level. I'm pretty sure that's when I hit 50K and it's August right now. And I know I have over 80K. Honestly, I don't even know how many subscribers I have right now. Like when I said that I'm taking a break from YouTube, I meant it. Like I haven't looked at my notifications. I haven't looked at my analytics. I haven't looked at my channel. I don't know how many views my videos are getting. I don't know how much money I'm getting right now. I don't know any of that stuff. The only way I've kept in touch at all is through emails. I don't even know what video came out today. I don't know what video is supposed to come out tomorrow. Well, I guess I'm gonna drop this video tomorrow, but yeah, I'm basically out of touch with YouTube. Everything is automated. All my videos for the next couple of weeks are pretty much scheduled out. It looks like I'm gonna have to make some modifications to that for sponsors and obviously to integrate this video. But everything that I said in my video about me taking a break, that's all staying. So the schedule that I set, as far as me posting five videos a week instead of six, that's gonna stay intact, at least until I move out. I'm just beating around the bush at this point, man. I, I need to stay on track. Okay, so 
basically, like I said, back in May, I started to see pretty rapid growth on YouTube. And me, I'm the type of person that likes to capitalize off of momentum because I know that the way YouTube works is that it comes in waves. It comes in waves. So there's gonna be times where your channel is growing really fast and you're getting a lot of views and a lot of great things are happening for you. Opportunities are presenting themselves. And then there's gonna be times where that momentum is gonna die down a little bit. It's just the nature of the game. And I understand that now. And that's allowed me to really detach my emotions from the results. And I also think that me taking this break has helped me do that even further because it's reminded me that there's more to life than just YouTube, especially now that I'm really focusing on my health, not just in terms of my physical health, but my mental health, emotional health, and spiritual health. I'm really focusing more on my growth. I'm focusing more on my personal growth as opposed to my channel growth. But throughout that process of my channel growing very rapidly, I found very quickly that I no longer had the time nor the energy to really give to my ex-girlfriend in the way that I wanted to. And let me tell you guys something. She was an amazing girlfriend. She set the bar extremely high, extremely, extremely, extremely high. But for me, I felt like I couldn't match that energy because I was so focused on work. I was so focused on YouTube and growing my platform and to be quite frank, making money. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I don't care about money at all. For as much as I say that you shouldn't make money the primary focus, at the time, that was my mindset. I was hustling. And especially because I knew that I was so close to being able to move out and get my own apartment, I made money a very big priority in my life. Now, in the month of May, she was out of town for pretty much the entire month. I don't think I saw her that whole entire month, maybe once, if at all. And that coincided with my channel growing. And that coincided with me taking that next step. And so that's when I started to really ask myself those questions of, is this relationship holding my career back? That's where this all started from. Is this relationship holding my career back? And is my career holding this relationship back? I started to wonder if these two things can coexist. Now, mind you, throughout this time, I'm not even thinking about myself. I'm not even thinking at all about my mental health or my spiritual health or my physical health. You know, I'm going to physical therapy and doing things like that, but I'm not getting enough sleep. There'll be days where I might wake up at 10 in the morning, but I don't eat until six o'clock in the afternoon because I wake up and I just get straight to it. And that's where my priorities were. I wasn't thinking about myself. I was thinking about my career first, and then whatever I had left over was going into the relationship, which that's not fair to her. Of course, from my perspective, it seemed fair because I only had so much energy to give. I can only give what I had to offer. But from her perspective, she's just getting 20% of me when she used to get 70 or 80% of me. And you guys have to understand that when we first met, when we first started talking, I was in a completely different headspace, not just in terms of my career, but also in terms of just me and my self-perception. I was very comfortable being single and I was at a good point as far as my healing process goes, just healing from a lot of the traumas that I had from previous situations, childhood traumas, core wounds, all of that stuff. Or so I thought, I thought that I had healed. But what I realized recently, now that I took the time to get away from YouTube and detach from the relationship, which I'm gonna get into that in a second as well, I realized that I still have a lot of work to do. And I talked a lot in my video about taking a break from YouTube. I talked a lot about my physical ailments that I was dealing with. But one thing I've noticed in my life is that when I have physical ailments like that, they tend to be a pretty direct reflection of my inner state of being. So if I'm having all of these pains and all of these health problems, that's usually indicative of some type of spiritual issue that I need to solve. 
And like I said, these past few months, I've just been neglecting that. I've been neglecting myself. And one thing that I'm sure my ex would tell you, because we had that conversation before, is that my love language, my primary love language is quality time, spending quality time with someone. I haven't had any quality time for myself these past couple of months, ever since May, ever since my channel started to grow. And maybe when she was out of town, I had a little more quality time for myself. But once she got back into town, I noticed my mental health deteriorating rather quickly. And by this point, I kind of already knew deep down what I needed to do. But I was scared. I, I was scared to do it because I just felt like I had been wanting a relationship for so long. I mean, mind you, I've been, I didn't have a girlfriend until I was 20. I'm 21. You know, this was my first girlfriend. I had wanted that for so long. And to finally get that, and not only that, but to basically get everything that I asked for in a partner, I didn't want to let that go. I did not want to let that go at all. But at what point does a relationship take priority over your relationship with yourself? That's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen at all. If that happens, it comes at the expense of something else, which in my case would be my purpose, me doing YouTube, me writing my book, me working on all the other things that I'm working on, negotiating with these companies, securing the bag, moving out, just taking that next step in my life and doing what I know I need to do to get to where I want to go in life, but also enjoying that process because throughout all of this, I'm not taking the time for myself. And I know I'm all over the place. I didn't script this video. I didn't do any bullet points or anything like that. This is all off the dome and I haven't filmed in a few days. So forgive me, I'm, I'm rusty right now. But basically, let me put it like this. I was in three relationships at the same time. There was the relationship that I had with my ex, the relationship that I had with YouTube or the grind, and then the relationship that I had with myself. What I realized is that I only have enough time and energy to give to two of those relationships. So if I'm giving myself fully to two of those relationships, one of them has to go. Now, I made a vow to myself a while back. It's in a video called Love Letter. It's still up on my channel. You guys can go watch it. I made a vow to myself that I would never let anything come between my relationship with myself ever again. And I didn't stay true to that. I didn't stay true to that. I let first my career get in the way of that. And then I let my relationship with someone else get in the way of that. And like I said earlier, my mental health started to go down the drain. And then what happened? I started to get burnt out. So my career started to suffer. I didn't enjoy making videos as much as I used to. And let me tell you guys, that's a very scary feeling. When you've put all of your eggs in one basket and all of a sudden that passion starts to disappear, that is a very scary feeling, especially when you know that in a few months you're about to have to pay rent. Now it's a matter of your livelihood. And I enjoy that pressure. I enjoy having that pressure of having to produce in order to survive. But at the same time, it's like, I just felt like I was losing my passion. I was losing my joy for doing this. And at the same time, I was also losing my how do I put this? I was also losing myself in the grand scheme of that relationship. I was becoming very distant, very detached. And at first I thought that I could just use the work excuse, like, oh, I'm too busy. And I honestly genuinely thought that. I thought that I was too busy, but I wasn't. I wasn't. The problem was that I didn't have the energy, I didn't have the capacity to give myself to so many different areas at the same time anymore. And I lied to myself for the past few months. 
I try to tell myself that I can do it. I can just push through it. I can thug it out. I can't. I cannot. I cannot compromise on quality time with myself anymore. I can't do that. That's something that I need. It's a necessity for me to produce content and it's a necessity for me to be in a relationship. But paradoxically, if I'm giving myself the quality time that I actually need, I don't have time to do both of the other things. So I have to choose one. So at that point, it became a matter of, do I want this relationship or do I want my YouTube channel? Do I wanna quit YouTube or do I wanna end this relationship? And judging by the title of this video, it's pretty clear what I ended up picking. And like I said, did this, I understand that some of you guys might not understand why I did what I did, but I've gone through this before. This situation, this whole entire situation is actually very similar to when I quit my job at H&M back in March of last year, actually. It's almost scarily similar because I remember I had that gut feeling. I had that gut feeling within me that told me that this is not going to last. Even though on paper, from the outside looking in, the situation looks perfect. It's everything that you've asked for. Me working at that job, I was making the most money I'd ever made. YouTube, I wasn't making anything at all. I also had my friends working there with me. I didn't even have to sell. Like they didn't make me sell anything. I basically just went there, folded clothes, talked to my coworkers, and then came home and got paid for it. On the surface, it looked like a great job, especially compared to YouTube, where I had 600 subscribers and I wasn't even close to being monetized. But I had a gut feeling. I had a gut feeling that I needed to let go of that job if I wanted to ascend to that next level. And I remember when I put in my two weeks notice, I actually told the manager that one of the reasons why I needed to do it was not only for my career, and to follow my dreams, but also because mentally I wasn't there. I noticed that mentally I had kind of checked out from that job already. And as a result, I kept coming into work with this negative ass energy. And I tried to kind of push through it, but that doesn't work. When you're in those spaces where, you know, at the, at the time it was me working retail. So I'm having to be around customers, even though I'm not having to interact with them like that, I still need to have a certain vibe about me so that I can be a good representative for the brand. And I understood that. I understood that it's not fair for me to come in to work with this negative energy and emanate that and spread that around. And the owners are paying me for that. That, that doesn't compute in my head. It doesn't make sense. In the same way, it's not fair for me to clock into this relationship when I know that I'm not going to be giving all of the energy that I should be giving. Even though the relationship on paper looked perfect. At the time, when I quit that job, I realized that there's no such thing as a perfect job because I don't want a job. A job is not what I need at this point in my life to stimulate the growth that I desire. In the same way, there is no such thing as the perfect relationship for me. I don't need to be in a relationship right now. The only relationship that I need to be focused on is the relationship that I have with myself. And it's a leap of faith. It's a leap of faith, honestly. It's one of those things where it doesn't make sense, but it feels right. I know I have complete unwavering faith that I made the right decision that I did what I needed to do. And thankfully, thankfully, she was very understanding of this. She was supportive even. And of course this hurts, this hurts for both of us. But what would hurt even more is for me to basically hold her hostage in a situation where I know I'm not going to be giving her what she deserves instead of her going out and finding somebody who can do that for her. Because I can't be that right now. I want the best for her. I want the best for her. And the best for her is not me at this time. And I want the best for me. And the best for me is not her at this time. At one point, it was. At one point, we were the best thing for each other. But that time has passed. And I need to respect and honor that and be willing to let go of a situation that I know 
no longer serves me, that I know is not going to get me to where I want to go. And it's crazy because I remember in the past, and my, believe me, my track record is extensive with this. I've talked about this in a lot of videos, but I remember I dealt with people, women obviously, that told me that they liked me, but they weren't ready for a relationship. And at the time, I just remember how confusing that was to me. I didn't have the emotional maturity to really understand what that meant. I just took it as, oh, they just don't like me. I'm not good enough. Now that I'm on the other side of that, I understand. I understand where all of those people were coming from, that there is nothing that my ex could have done. There's absolutely nothing she could have done to change my mind on this because it's not about her. It has nothing to do with her. That could have been any girl and I would have done the same thing. This is about me and respecting my relationship with myself and prioritizing that. This isn't even about the grind anymore. This isn't about the money or the success or any of that. None of that shit matters, man, honestly. I mean, it's nice. It's nice to see my, my channel growing, but the reason why it's nice is not because of the surface level things. The novelty of that has been passed. All of that is already, you know, that's just something that I've gotten used to. I've adjusted to that. But that stuff means a lot to me because it represents my inner growth. It's an outer reflection of my inner growth. And that's what I need to be prioritizing right now. But in order to grow, I have to set that foundation. I have to do the repair work so that I can have a stable foundation on which I can build. I can build my dream life. I can build my dream self. And that starts with self-love. But I can't sit here and say that I love myself if I don't even want to take the time. I don't even want to take time out of my day to spend with myself. That doesn't make any sense at all. So for me, I feel like I made the best decision. I would ask what you guys think, but I don't care, honestly. I haven't been reading comments. I don't know if I said that in this video or not. I'm gonna do very minimal editing, so I don't know. But I haven't been reading comments. Honestly, not sure when or if I'm going to go back to that because I've been doing a lot more consultation work. So that's kind of taking the place of comments now. But you guys can obviously still reach me through my emails or through the consultations, through Wizio, if you wanna click the link in the description for that. I love doing those, I really do. And I've been doing those throughout my break too. And I, I really enjoy it. But yeah, I know this video is all over the place. This video is all over the place. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. I'm just rambling. I'm trying to get it all out there so that I can give you guys just a, a decent explanation or some degree of valuable insight as to why I made this decision. Basically, if I could sum up this whole entire video into like one minute, it's this. My relationship with myself was suffering as a result of my imbalances. And as a result, I had to take corrective action, which involved letting go of a situation that on the surface seemed very promising, but deep down I knew that it wasn't right for me. And I always say this, but when you have that gut feeling, you need to follow it. You need to follow it. And I'm, I'm really glad that I built up the courage to follow that gut feeling now before there was any type of resentment built up because me and her ended things on good terms. And like I said earlier, I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful that she was so understanding because I had this whole speech built up for her. And as soon as I called her, as soon as I FaceTimed her, I froze up. I went blank. I didn't know what to say but she made that process a lot easier. Hope that I never have to go through that process again because it was excruciatingly awkward. But who knows, man, who knows? I said in the past that I wanted my first girlfriend to be my last. What I realize now is that all of that is just unnecessary pressure. There's no point. I just, I just wanna live in the moment and take in everything that's happening for me it's not even about my legacy or the success or any of that. That's all the byproduct of the inner work that I'm doing right now. And you guys are about to see not only my channel, but me as a person. 
elevate to uncharted territories, places that I have never been before. I'm just getting started. This, this is only the beginning, not just in terms of my channel growth, but in terms of my personal growth. I'm just getting started and I'm excited to take you guys on that journey with me as soon as my break is over. Oh, also one other thing. I'm gonna be privating all of the videos with her in them. I'm not gonna private the videos where I talk about her. And also that's another thing. Like I said, this video is being recorded the same day that it's being posted. So if you hear me talk about her or me being in a relationship in future videos, it's because those videos were recorded before this one. All of my next like eight videos are pre-recorded. So just keep that in mind, but I'm gonna be privating all of our videos together. The only reason why I'm not gonna delete them is because I know that some of you guys might wanna still watch them. So if there's a video that maybe you like to go to for insight or something like that, maybe it's your go-to video, you can just email me at dmjordangreen at yahoo.com and I'll give you an unlisted link to watch those videos. But just out of respect for her, I need to get those videos off of my channel and also out of respect for whatever girl comes next which if I'm being real with you guys, that's not gonna be for a while. What I realized is that I don't need to be dating right now. I really don't. I need to be focusing on myself. I need to be invested, fully invested in this relationship with myself and my career. And I got faith that the right person will come at the right time. But right now, that person is me and I'm just focused on exactly that. I'm focused on myself. I'm focused on being selfish. I'm focused on doing what I need to do, taking those necessary leaps of faith to get to where I wanna go and to become who I wanna be.